guys. It's good old Malin. It's been literally a million years since I've seen you. Like, it's like, it's been a million years. How are you? Are you, are you okay? Are you fine? 2018 has been a crazy year and we've been all over the place, but we're back. We're here in a brand new studio, which we'll get a studio tour video of soon. Today I want to talk to you about my current favorite movie, which snuck up on me at the end of 2018, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It's fucking lit. There are tons of videos already on YouTube about how amazing this movie is and how the animation style is incredible and how the soundtrack is out of this fucking world. But I want to talk to you today about why the movie is important to me, personally, as a black nerd. Growing up a black nerd is always kind of weird, because you're watching the same shows as all your friends, but none of the characters really look like you. It feels sort of shitty. Now that I'm older and I'm a cosplayer, it's really difficult to find characters that I can just straight up cosplay. Now, I do love doing fusion cosplays, and cosplays that aren't necessarily human, and, and doing interesting weird things with cosplays, but sometimes I just want to dress up as a cool character that looks like me. Although minority representation in nerd culture and in pop culture is growing, it's still very small comparatively. So when we get movies like Into the Spider-Verse, it feels amazing, and I'm going to explain why. Now, I'm going to try to do this as spoiler free as possible, but just for the sake of a slip up, here's your spoiler warning. Miles Morales, the Spider-Man from the Ultimate Universe not Peter Parker, is amazing. I mean, he was incredible when they wrote him. But in this movie, he really, truly comes to life. A lot of times it feels like writers or storytellers or people who are making these movies are sort of pandering when they put ethnic or brown characters in their movies. But Miles is different. And Into the Spider-Verse, Miles feels like an authentically black kid who's from Brooklyn just trying to make his way in the world. Everything from his funny, quirky personality to his genuinely Brooklyn hip-hop style to his close and genuinely believable familial relationships feels so genuine and not at all like pandering, which is so refreshing. He doesn't just feel like a cookie-cutter black kid who loves hip-hop. He feels like a person who happens to be black who's struggling and dealing with things and issues that other black kids like myself have dealt with over the course of our lives. For example, there's a scene early on in the movie where Miles actively tries to shun his intelligence so he can keep his place in his culture as the cool, not too smart black kid from Brooklyn, which is something that I definitely can relate to, just not from Brooklyn. Now, I should say, I'm not saying that if you're not black or ethnic you can't relate to Miles. That's not at all what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that there's little things sprinkled into his character arc that feel genuinely black. Now. On a more personal level, I relate to Miles a lot. And his behaviors and mannerisms and the things that he does and all of his little quirky things. And I sort of feel like I should be getting paid because because the writers clearly have been watching me. Miles, I live with my headphones on. I'm constantly badly singing songs that I don't know all the words to. And believe me, there's plenty of times when I was younger that I'd sneak out of my house with a bag full of spray cans just hoping to find an empty wall to throw my art up on. And seeing Miles do that up on screen, even now as an adult, really touched me in a deep place. Throughout the course of the movie, Miles struggles with feelings of not being good enough for his parents, for his web-slinging allies, and especially himself. All sentiments that I can personally identify with. And I'm sure that you can too. But slowly, with the help of his friends and family, he's able to overcome that self-imposed doubt and really live up to his potential. And it was incredible. And let me tell you, watching a character that looks like you and acts like you and is dealing with the same emotional struggles that you do, overcome them and save the day, had me tearing up in the theater. Alright, Into the Spider-Verse is an incredible movie for so many reasons. The character designs, the art style, the fucking soundtrack, which you should listen to immediately. It's easily and immediately become my favorite iteration of the web swinger on the silver screen. Sorry, Andy. And I should say, I love Miles Morales. Not because he's a black character, but because he's an amazing, well thought out, genuinely strong, inspiring character who happens to look like me. And that doesn't happen a lot. That's all I've got for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. It's been good old Mal. I hope you like and subscribe and stick around to see all of the other amazing stuff we're going to do in here. So as always, see you next time. Peace!